Good evening. Welcome to my day four video. I didn't record yesterday. It probably would have been a good day to record. Uh, I had a lot going on. So let me go over that real quick with you before I get into the excitement of today. Yesterday, I started my morning off in kind of a really vulnerable place. It was a place of fear. Some things were going on here in the park um, that kind of scared me the night before. So I woke up feeling like I wanted to move and upset and I ate my first meal in the morning. I cooked me breakfast. And so food for me most of my life has been, I'm, I'm a, an emotional eater, but really fear um, and doubt are my biggest, you know, things to battle when it comes to overeating. Fear, you know, promotes me to eat as a layer of protection. A lot of this weight gain has to do with my childhood and things that happened to me and and I think with working through all of my stuff I've been really realizing that I didn't want to be attractive um, because it was a protection thing and I'm sure a lot of women and men too can relate to that so I had eaten my morning meal and then I decided you know what I'm gonna turn this around I'm not gonna let this get me down so I worked out the problems that were going on with the help of, of some good people here and got everything solved and then I drank my shake for lunch and shake for dinner and I had my drinks in between and so I made it through the day without breaking my diet even though I started off bad and it wasn't an unhealthy breakfast um, I had well the bagel was but the vegetables and the eggs weren't so that's the only thing I ate besides my snacks now speaking of snacks um, I thought I'd share with you one of them, and it's the seaweed treats. I'm trying to do power foods as my snacks, uh, kind of balance it out, like a cheese stick and some almonds, and or these and some carrot sticks or a cheese stick, and you know something like that. The seaweed treats are really good because they have they put iodine in your thyroid, which is awesome for you. Um, but I'm finding if I eat lighter snacks, I'm not as hungry, which is kind of interesting. So to today, uh, today was Stella Day. Awesome, great day. I had a most amazing visit. Those of you who know me know exactly how important Stella Day is to me. Um, she's amazing. She's walking and talking and uh, we had a really, really special moment when they left where she on her own, not prompted, blew me a kiss and then signaled, I love you in sign language. And that's one of the four languages she's learning. And it was so touching. There was a connection and a look in her eyes. And I knew she was really letting me know. Like she could feel how much I miss her. So I had a great visit today. Uh, my son joined us. And my baby daddies and Stella and my son and I all went out to um, Tokyo Steakhouse. And so there was a chef chopping up all the veggies and the good stuff. And lighting things on fire. And Stella absolutely loved it. And we really kind of bonded there um, and so that was my meal for today I started my day off with a shake now I'm finding with the the Visalis shakes that if I do my sweet shake in the morning say frozen blueberries or um, you know whatever fruit I add in plus a half a banana I, I do a half in my morning shake and a half in my evening shake since I do my meal at lunch mostly um, and that banana helps to fill me up longer. I realize that. But if I do my sweet shake in the morning and then I do the half a banana and something, you know, not, I, I prefer not so sweet of a shake at night because I've noticed then I don't get that night craving for sweets that I used to get. I've also kind of found a little system for me and it's only day four. So in the evenings, like now, I will have my uh, glass of water. I drink water all day long. But once in the morning and about snack time and then evening about snack time, I do the mixed lemon and Nero in it. And today I, I did half of each packet and it was really cool. I liked the way that tasted. But on the evening one, I like to add my clear control because at nights is when I have the hardest time not eating, especially being single and alone. And, you know, you get bored. You want to eat even if it's just out of boredom and there's no driving emotions. So the Vitrim really helps me there. I uh, make sure and take my Vice Slim about an hour before my one meal because I think that's a good time. And then I take it, take one again at night about an hour before I go to bed so that I'm burning fat while I'm sleeping. 
And I've noticed that the omegas, for it to turn my ringer off there, it's mindless me, the omegas are helping my mobility because, uh, and I've taken plenty of omegas, so I'm kind of the expert on them. I actually have quite a few different bottles that have omegas in them. They have these joint relief things and the coral, coffee, all this stuff. These ones seem to work better. I don't know if it's just because I'm so driven, but I'm noticing less pain. Plus, I'm not eating any gluten, so or barely any, and I think that helps too. Um, so that covers all of my products there. I'm noticing that my energy is picking up, and part of that is the fact that I'm feeling the support from all of you. That's awesome. Um, another part of it is that I'm not eating all those foods that weigh you down. You know, energy makes energy, lazy makes lazy. Oh, one more good news. So my baby daddies are, they've been watching my videos. Hi, I love you guys. Um, they're really proud of me and they, they were proud of my devotion in this. So they gave me the most wonderful present today throughout the 90 day challenge. They're setting me up with this organic delivery produce, um, you know, service that is going to deliver fr organic fruits and vegetables once a week. So that's awesome because for one, my fridge is kind of on the fritz, I'm getting a new one. It's a new to me and it's a $15 one that will fit on my counter. It's perfect. But, um, so I'm not gonna have a lot of room to store stuff and I don't have a transportation to get to a market, specifically Trader Joe's because they have organic stuff and most, a lot of the grocery stores don't have as large of a selection and I like their prices. So I'm gonna have my fruits and vegetables delivered. That's really gonna be awesome and help me out because I'm doing this deposit here at the park in three installments. So I'm just like, yay, you know, and now all I have to buy really is my protein. Um, and you know, I'm gonna stock up on herbs and teas and all that good stuff. I've been studying all kinds of good things and I'll share that with you on another video. Um, so yeah, they gifted me fruits and vegetables and I'm just, I was blown away. I'm just, and it feels good to have people believe in us, but what feels even better is believing in myself. Um, oh, one more thing before I go. I haven't gotten an exact weight yet. However, the the day that I started, the night before I started this, I took my measurements for my sign up on the challenge. So we're, I'm going to give you those today. So at least we have a starting measurement point. And so I'm my... It's 61, 57, 64. <laughs> that's my measurements. I was like, wow, that's pretty big. But that's cool because um, I'm going to drop that by, I think, at least 20 inches. You know, get it down. I could see myself at more like 40, 37, or something like that. We'll figure it out. But yeah, 40, 37, 44. That sounds a lot better. So we'll see how many inches I lose. And then we have my inch measurements. So that's about it. I'm in a really good place and I'm determined no matter what happens. I know I can work through this. Thank you for letting me share today and I hope you have a most blessed evening. Thank you.